What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, we got some work to do to Big Red, the old TDI swap truck. So if you guys remember when I first built this motor, when I rebuilt it, the front of the oil pan was leaking. So then I pulled the pan out, I resealed it. And now the front leak is fixed and now it's leaking out the back. So I got to tear it back apart. I want to get this leak fixed. It's dripping down onto the exhaust and potentially maybe a couple drips are slinging back into the uh, clutch area. So I don't want any oil on that clutch. So today we got to fix the pan seal. Also the rear axle somehow sprung a leak as well. So where the third member bolts into the housing, I used the gasket there when I originally put this axle together and it worked for a while, but now it's dripping out of that. So two leaks we got to fix today. So let's get started. We already got the oil coming out of the pan here. I'm using this ex oil extraction pump. All you gotta do is stick it down the dipstick, pump it up and sucks all the oil out of the oil pan. It actually does a really, really good job. The main reason I use it for this truck is because the drain bolt kind of just shoots right to the axle and it's not even in the right spot because this motor is swapped in. So I like to suck it out with this. You get the majority of the oil out. So we're gonna get the oil out. We're going to pull the pan off, get that cleaned up. I'm going to try the uh, right stuff by Permatex. I've heard really good things about this. I was just at the parts store. Someone at the parts store actually builds like race engines and that's what they say they use. And the cool thing about this stuff is you can return to service in 90 minutes. The regular Permatex stuff like the ultra black, ultra gray, that stuff takes 24 hours to cure up before you can actually return to service. So 90 minutes, we're gonna try that on the pan and the rear diff. Try this stuff out. They say it works amazing, so we're gonna give it a go. So once this oil is drained out, I wanna get the main tie rod here. I'm just gonna pull it off right of the uh, steering arm there. Drop that down, pull the uh, steering stabilizer, just to get a little more room up underneath, and then we'll drop that pan out. Let that thing completely drip, dry, make sure there's no oil, and then we'll get this pan sealed up. I suppose I'll show you guys this leak. So it's coming down right along the back of the pan here, and you can see it's just dripping right onto my axle, then it runs down and drips off the bottom of my axle. So I don't really know what's going on. I know this wasn't leaking out of the back the first time I built this motor, but just the front was leaking. So I'm hoping another reseal will do the trick. One thing I'm gonna do a little bit differently on this pan job is, so I got some bolts here. These are actually a seven mil bolt for the oil pan. What I'm going to do is cut the heads off of these bolts and thread these into the block. That way I can slide the pan straight up. I think what I'm having issues with is when I'm going to put the pan on, there's no dowels, there's nothing to line that pan up. So I'll get the pan up in place and then you gotta kinda move it around to actually get the bolts in. And I think that whole moving it around is kinda wiping sealant off of spots. So I'm going to pull the pan off we're gonna cut, like I said, cut the head of these bolts off, put one in each corner. That way, when we go to put the pan on, you just straight up onto the block and there's no issues with being misaligned. <laughs> All right guys, got the pan off. So it looks like it was leaking right out of the back. These two corners, you can see that one not so much, but this one's got oil all over the back right here and it's running down, kind of down the back here. And then with a flywheel, it's kind of just flinging the oil everywhere. So pretty sure it was leaking somewhere out the back. I mean, some of this looks like it sealed pretty good, but you can see oil right there. And then there's oil on the outside here. So. I think this is a culprit, I really hope so. I have checked everything else. There's no oil above that, 
but the hard part is it doesn't leak very much and with a flywheel in there kind of flinging the oil everywhere it's kind of hard to see where this actual oil leak is so let's get the block cleaned up get all the sealer off that get this cleaned up i'm going to just wash this thing in the parts washer tank get all this sealant off and cleaned up and then we'll throw it back on with the right stuff All right guys, got it all cleaned up. One thing I'm going to do is wait until this stops dripping back here so you can see right there. And that is right where I had my oil leak and I'm pretty sure I do remember that, you know, dripping like that the last time I sealed this pan. So I'm gonna let that drip until it doesn't drip anymore. Cause I think what happened was I put the pan on with a sealant and that oil just kind of started running into the sealant and kind of screwed that up so i'm going to wait for that to quit dripping i'm going to jump on the rear get that rear third member pulled out and by the time i probably get that out we should be able to get this pan back on All right guys, got the third member out. I'm gonna let that kind of do the same thing as that oil pan. Make sure all the oil is kind of dripped out of that third member. And in the meantime, we should be able to get this pan back on. I didn't see much more oil coming out from the top there. So I'm going to clean everything one last time with brake cleaner. And then we're gonna spread out the, the old right stuff on the oil pan. I already got those uh, studs in there. You can see, got uh, four of them. So that should help getting the pan up straight in one shot and not messing around with it. So let's get to it, get this pan back on.
All right, the moment of truth. Let's look under this and let's see if we got any leaks. Looks like the front is good. Looks like I don't see anything coming off the back yet. So I'm gonna keep driving it and uh, keep an eye on it. Hopefully we got everything fixed. Let's go check out the rear axle real quick. Make sure we ain't got any leaks back here. No, looking pretty dry. Well guys, hopefully our oil leaks are fixed. I'm gonna keep driving it like I said. Keep an eye on it and hopefully that fixes it. Like I said, that's the third time I have sealed that pan. So they say a third time's a charm. I guess we'll put that to the test. Well, that's a wrap for this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Go smash that thumbs up button, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.